Halo masyarakat, musmus, apa kabar semuanya? Kali ini episodenya spesial. Kita balik lagi ke Singapura, tapi bukan cuma untuk jalan-jalan aja. Kita di sini. buat nonton F1 Woo! 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 tenang aja gua nggak sendirian kok nanti Mbak Nana bakal join musyawarah nah sekarang kita lagi ada di Gallery 26 di sini bakal ada exhibition tentang Singapore Grand Prix sejarahnya dari awal ada sampai sekarang jujur udah kepo banget kan tadi sempet ngeliat ya ada mobil-mobil F1 di dalam Udah langsung aja kita masuk ya. Wow. Ini beneran nggak? Ini gue nanya siapa ya? Untuk tanya ini bener atau enggak? Oh, hi. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Kai. Hi, I'm Hello. Joe. Nice to meet you. I, I was wondering, is yeah. this the real F1 car or is it a replica? Yes, yeah, so this is a real F1 car with an engine no. inside. Yeah. The engine is inside. The engine is inside. Yes. Oh so this God. is actually the 2014 model. Yeah. And who who drove this one? So this car was driven by Kimi Raikkonen. You can oh. see the number 7 over there. Oh, you're right. Yes, yes. Oh, ini keren banget, guys. Ini asli loh. 2014. Yes. The model is called the SF14T. Okay. Yes. The SF14T. Yeah. A They're very, really different, right? Yeah, From like the models different. these days. Very, very different. It's like slimmer. Yeah. yeah, it's much slimmer and it's also shorter. I was wondering, did he win any races with this yeah. car? Yeah, even though it wasn't oh, the most successful Ferrari car, he mm-hmm. got fourth in the World Constructor Championship. Yes. This was flown in here from like Italy? Or no, is- these are all Singaporean cars. Yeah. Really? Yes, yes. They're all owned by Singaporeans. What? Yes. Ini mobil punya orang Singapore. Huh? So they bought the cars from yeah, yeah. Ferrari. Yeah. Do you know how much this cost? <laughs> no, I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah. So okay, this is okay. This is really cool. You have another car over there. Yeah, we have another car. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to have a look at that? Yes, please. Yeah. Let's go. So the car we have oh, wow. here is the SF15T. Very, very, very special car. Because it won, it did the best in the recent decade for Ferrari. Yeah, it won second in the World Constructors Championship. And who drove it? This was also driven by Kimi Raikkonen Ooh. with Sebastian Vettel. Yeah. Yeah. 2015. Wow. Actually, a very very historic car for F1, uh, for Ferrari F1, basically because it won in the Singapore Grand Prix. This yeah. car. Yeah, this car won in the Singapore Grand Prix. Jadi mobil ini menang SGP 2015. Ini keren banget. Ini gue kalau boleh duduk dalam, kayaknya nggak boleh deh. <laughs> Kita lihat ya, mobil berikutnya ya. Let's go. Yeah. Can, can yeah, we see the next one? Of course. The car we have here is the 2016 version. It's called the SF16H. So very, it wants very... SF16T, SF15T. SF14, 15, 15 16. Okay. Yes. This car is unfortunately a replica, so there is no engine inside. But regardless, still a very, very, very special car because Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen signed the car themselves. No, yeah. Yeah, you can see the signatures over there. That must be Vettel's. There's an yes. S. Yes, you can see the shape of the S for Sebastian. Oh. oh my God. Yeah. Are there any more cars? Unfortunately not. There are only three cars here, but you can feel free to head up for the Singapore exhibition history. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Yeah. Tahun 61 pertama kali guys. First Grand Prix 1961. Jadi guys, tahu nggak sih masalah terbesarnya kalau mau bikin uh, balapan kayak gini ya, F1 racing atau Grand Prix racing gitu ya? Nyari jalan. Jadi sejarahnya ya, dia tuh pindah-pindah berkali-kali karena mereka merasa it would have a massive disruption to the thousands of residents. Jadi orang-orang yang tinggal di sekitar tuh bakal keganggu kalau ada racing seperti ini gitu. Nah, ujung-ujungnya mereka ketemu lokasi. Jadi effortnya gede ya, butuh effort gede gitu untuk bisa punya racing di level dunia seperti ini gitu. Menurut kalian kalau kalau di Jakarta jalanan yang cocok kalau ada kayak gini nih, gimana? Tulis di komen. Jadi pertama kali ada balapan mobil ya, Grand Prix di Singapura tahun 61. Cuma ini bukan yang Formula One. Yang Formula One sepertinya tahun-tahun setelahnya. Kita cek dulu ke sejarah ke sana, lihat tahun berapa nih mereka mulai F1 ya. Jadi 62, 66, 67. Jadi tahun 73. Tahun 73 di cancel. Uh, event GP ini karena ini sempat ada kecelakaan. Jadi kayaknya break lama nih. It was the most dangerous circuit circuit that I had driven on by that stage of my career. That I had driven on by that stage of my career. Wow, bahaya waktu itu ya. Pasti ada pengembangan lah. Kalau suatu hal buruk terjadi kita berkembang baru. Ini dia, 2007, 11 Mei, Singapura announce kita bakal nge-host Formula One Grand Prix dari tahun 2008. Tahun ini 2024 berarti udah keberapa nih, 15, 16, 17, ya segitulah. Udah banyak banget nih, wow. Serius? Oh, jadi uh, SGP ya? Itu the first night race. Jadi selama ini mereka tuh kalau nge-race mungkin daylight ya. Tapi mereka ini pertama kali race malam. Di Formula One history. Uh, kenapa gitu ya? Oh, karena nggak mau panas. Nggak mau lembab. Dan supaya penonton di Eropa masih tetap bisa nonton di jam yang sama. Begitu. Oke, okay, oke, okay, oke. Okay. Karena ini night race ya, mereka tuh butuh banyak lampu. Dan lampu itu bukan cuma asal masang lampu aja, ada desainernya gitu. Ada sekitar 1.600 lampu yang mereka pakai. Dan per 2023, mereka udah ganti ke LED. Supaya bisa lebih eco-friendly, lebih ramah lingkungan, less electricity ya. Ini keren banget loh. SGP ini hanya memiliki 6 pemenang, 6 driver ya. Alonso 2 kali, Hamilton 4 kali, Vettel 5 kali Sebastian Vettel, Rosberg sekali, Mercy tahun dia menang juga 2016, Perez sekali, Sainz sekali. 6, tahun ini siapa ya? <laughs> tahun ini. Ini gue nebak nih, sebelum kita nonton. Please, j jangan Max Verstappen dong, dia menang terus gitu. Lando Norris. Lando Norris itu ini. McLaren. Kita besok nonton di sana. Eh, kita hari H uh, race-nya, kita nonton di sini. Padang Grandstand. Dan yang menang akan Lando Norris, kita semua tahu kan. Ini gue udah ngomong dua kali sekarang. Nah, yang utamanya di situ. Hari ini kita ke sana.
Dan akhirnya gua nggak sendirian lagi. Mbak Nana, welcome to Singapore. Thank you. Sorry ya. Aduh, aku nyesel deh. Tadi, tadi kamu kayak seru banget aku dengan ceritanya. Aku ngeliat sejarahnya SGP. Iya. Nanti nanti aku aku bakal bakal fill in Mbak Nana lah. Iya, tolong diceritakan karena aku kayak aku tuh nggak pernah nonton F1 dan makanya seru banget sekarang bisa nonton langsung. Iya. Kamu nanti ngajarin aku ya. Karena aku agak nggak paham-paham gitu. <laughs> Tapi nggak, bakal aku... tahu. Abis ini bakal tahu. Bakal tahu ya. Abis ini bakal tahu. Iya. Benar tahu terus bisa mikir apa nggak? Ini sirkuitnya kan? Benar. Ini, ini adalah kan? Marina Bay Street Circuit. Jadi mereka bakal balapan ini salah satu lintasan adalah ini. Uh. Gitu. Nah, kita bentar lagi mau masuk ke dalam area F1. Dan hari ini kita spesial loh, Nana. Ini <laughs> dia Sky Sweet. Aduh. Dan hari ini tuh hari yang akan rehearse ya? Iya, mereka latihan akan, hari ini. Akan, bukan rehearse ya, rehearse tuh kayak pertunjukan banget, praktis. Mohon maaf tuh kan ketahuan kan, gue kagak pahamnya kan. <laughs> gue kalau yang lain-lain paham, yang ini nggak paham. Makanya gue mau belajar kaju, ajar-ajarin gue ya nanti. Bener. Hari ini tuh mereka akan praktis. Ya. Jadi nanti kita akan ngeliat mereka. Oh, kita bisa ngeliat gak sih mereka praktis? Bisa, bisa banget. Bisa ya? Bisa. Iya, daripada kita berdiri samping sirkuitnya, kenapa kita langsung ke sirkuitnya aja? Kita, kita masuk yuk. Yuk. Yuk, yuk, kita masuk yuk. Yuk, 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 yuk. katanya untuk akses ini kesananya juga kita ada entrance yang menarik nih mana kita naik lewat kita naik apa sih tadi ini ya naik boat katanya Magnificent view! Oh my god! This is actually my first time. So being, you know, watching the actual live race. And I would say that you pick the best race for your first time. <laughs> the best race! What about you? Okay, all the races throughout the whole M1 calendar. <laughs> Why is this the best race, you think? Well, we are the first night and street race. And uh, I think before our night and street race, nobody could imagine that the F1 race can be done at night under the lights. So, and I think we were also one of the first ones that managed to blend entertainment with uh, the race action for the race fans and the non-race fans who would subsequently become race fans. Yeah, so over the years, I think we've honed uh, the art of uh, making sure that the entertainment lineup is aligned with people's and the consumers' interests. And in terms of the programming, um, from the number of stages that we've increased, and also the timing of the different entertainment, I think over the years we've actually built it up and been able to engage the audience. Uh, other than the race action, we also have out of track action, which is what we call the Grand Prix season Singapore, where we will activate different precincts in the country to inject local flavor, bring in our men's entertainment in lifestyle, retail, uh, shopping, and attraction. We are also making sure the local culture is also incorporated in the experience. So, uh, like this year, as part of Grand Prix season Singapore, we have uh, what we call a cake liner event at Kong Kong Club where you can actually experience local delights, local music, and the local vibes and the culture fixing. And, uh, and it's so close to the race action, but uh, people get to enjoy a different feel of something that they can do outside of the racetrack. You've been preparing this for six or eight months. What is your biggest worry? Uh, the biggest worry, if you ask me, is also, uh, I would say, fear in itself. Because I think over the years we've learned a lot, uh, but because the world is changing and there's so many things that uh, they are just hoping that you're really prepared for any circumstances that may come. Uh, like last year, we had a number of monitor lizards that came onto the track. Which? Yes. Yes, so it's like, okay, I mean, we have a tropical island, so, I mean, so we saw the monitor laser, we managed to get them all track and the race can still continue in the same manner. Are you yourself a, a big fan of uh, F1? I would say that I've grown to like the sport and the uh, engineering, the strategy, the uh, business behind it. It is really uh, something that's quite, uh, if I may use the word magical, 
because some people may just say that it's just cars driving very fast. But the engineering, the technicalities, the business model, getting the sponsors, getting the drivers, getting people to come together to watch a race, to discuss business, to just enjoy the night and to come and race to Singapore. So yes, I really grow to love the race. You practically, you practically know the design of the whole place, right? Uh, what is your favorite spot here? Here. <laughs> this is your favorite spot? Yes, because this is where you can see the entire pitch day. You yeah. can see the wonderful skyline. And if you come out later at night when the lights are all lit and when the sky is dark, uh, I mean, I love my country. So the skyline here is amazing. And when it's the end of the race, we, have, we can actually experience all the fireworks. So this is my favorite spot. Let's go and begin Mobile F1, Gary Chocolate. So, let's go. <laughs> okay. Get it? Okay. We're cheating right now. It's all good. What is the secret spray? Final touch. Wow. I might, I might break it. Yeah. Is there a different one or is just one? You don't see them. But luck we need see them. I hear I have a blanja, yeah. There yeah. Sekarang lagi di Hyperdrive di Sentosa Island. Benar, ini adalah Genified e-card experience pertama di Asia. Indoor. Wow. Karena kemarin kan kita ngeliat driver driver F1 kan, mm -hmm. terus aku mikir kayaknya aku juga harus nyoba nih. Si. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi kayaknya nggak mungkin di di Marina Bay Circuit nggak mungkin kan? Ini seolah-olah. Seolah-olah. Ala-ala. Iya. Yeah. Mbak Nana juga nyoba. Aku tuh jadi di awal tuh aku kayak ragu. Cuma ya kita lihat lah. Oke, okay. okay. kita aku mau aku nggak aku nggak janji, tapi aku <laughs> mau ngelihat dulu kalau mantep. Oke. Okay. Baru. Soalnya, soalnya aku lihat tuh kayak ada anak. Aku ngelihat brosurnya tuh anak-anak aja ikut. Berarti aman seharusnya ya? Nggak tahu ya. Pokoknya <laughs> kita kita coba dulu deh kita lihat dulu. Saya benar ada pengalaman buruk driving kan? Nggak usah di share di sini juga. Ada Bapak, pengalaman. Aku sih terbuka. Aku sih orangnya apa adanya. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Gua nggak bisa nyupir. Tapi kalau ini kan cuma gas sama rem. Bener, nggak terlalu kompleks, nggak banyak hal. Ya, ya bener ya. Ya bener. Ya, tapi nanti ada trainingnya pula kan? Ada ada. Kita coba training bentar. Ya udah kita coba yuk. Kita masuk, Yalah. kita daftar ya. Ini besok balapan dia. Ya. Charles Leclerc. Ya, jadi maksudnya dia pernah kesini apa gimana sih? Pernah kesini. Lap time dia bagus banget, 29 detik. Nanti Mbak Nana coba 27 detik buat dia. <laughs> <laughs> Oke, kita daftar nih, guys. <laughs> Balapnya apa nih, Mbak Nana? Lama aku aja kan? Sihap aja ya? Sihap. Oh, kok saya lembab? Ah, dia yang pake. 
Ya udah Najwa. Abi pernah balapan di sini Mbak <laughs> Najwa. Najihap. Najihap ya. Iya. Bisa. Bisa ya? Bisa. Wih, dia udah mikir namanya apa? Ada loh. Iya, ada. Langsung loh dia. Jadi guys, kita tuh kalau karting tuh harus fokus. Dan fokus paling baik adalah memakai baju Red Bull Racing ya. Walaupun dia nggak bakal menang juga sih di GP kali ini. Kita ganti dulu guys. Udah siap. Udah siap. Kita safety briefing ya. Safety briefing dance yes. level. Go faster. <laughs> Welcome to Hyperdrive. Your safety is our topmost priority. Please pay attention to this safety video for a fun and safe karting experience. Aku keringetan sih. Iya, tadi juga aku keringetan sih. Iya. Aku tuh tadi kebanyakan ngerem. Gara-gara pas tadi sebelum disuruh kan nggak. Remnya nanti jangan terlalu full ya, dikit-dikit aja. Terus ah. aku langsung kayak, oke, okay, dikit-dikit. Jadi sepanjang itu tuh aku ngerem-ngerem mulu. <laughs> aku sempet nggak sengaja mencetak kenceng, emang bener muter dia. Oh gitu? Iya. Oh, aku aku berhasil, aku nggak nggak sampai muter sih. Aku sempet, iya, nggak. Oh, nggak, nggak, Tapi sempet ada satu yang nabrak gue. Gue gue tanda ya. <laughs> Barangnya ditabrak? Ditabrak. Tapi terus karena kan aku elegan ya. Iya. Jadi udah aku biarin aja. Nggak bukan elegan sih, karena gue pelan banget juga. Jadi udah gue diem aja. Gue. Tapi seru sih, seru. Aku seru. tuh nggak nyangka mereka seseri situ loh. Aku kira orang tuh main-main kan. Uh. Ternyata orang pada nyari lap time tercepatnya mereka gitu. Ya, soalnya ini memang kayak, ini kan simulasi as if beneran. Iya. Yeah. Jadi memang orang ya cepet-cepetan. Sementara, sementara aku pertama kali nyoba, jadi ya aku safety first gitu. Bener. Ya, santai. Ngerem mulu, ngerem. Tapi seru sih, seneng ah. Nggak, aku pasti bakal coba lagi. Fix. Pokoknya emang harus nyobain sih. Sekarang kita ada di Mint Museum of Toys. Yes. Kabarnya ada mainan F1. Jadi memang uh, sepanjang penyelenggaraan F1, seluruh Singapura tuh melibatkan banyak banget tempat-tempat uh, ya. Uh -huh. Kayak kemarin kan aku ngeliat kayak ada galeri sejarah F1-nya gitu. Uh, dan ini Museum of Toys-nya pun mereka juga ada spesifik ada tempat yang katanya juga mamerin mainan-mainan F1. Jadi the whole Singapore, seluruh negara tuh betul-betul merayakan uh, F1. Iya. Yeah melibatkan banyak banget tenant, melibatkan banyak banget pelaku usaha, melibatkan banyak banget tempat-tempat yang pokoknya bikin semua orang berpikirnya Evan, Evan, Evan. Termasuk ini. Mirip Pameran. makasih ya, kita suka merayakan Indonesia kan? Kita merayakan banyak hal. Mereka merayakan F1. Iya. Minggu ini, minggu ini. Oke, kita masuk yuk. Hi. Hi guys, hi, welcome to the main museum of toys. Thank hi. You. Okay, I'll be your guide, I'll be Aaron. Okay, hi, I'll bring Aaron. up to level two where you see our vintage toy collection of okay. cars. Is that okay? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, right. So you just need to follow me. 
Oh, can you just get your tickets in hand? Or do we have to follow the... <laughs> oh, you guys can just hop along, yeah. Harus <laughs> kah? Ini, ini syaratnya gini kayaknya. This is fun. Okay, I got my tickets. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's the... Alright. Okay. Yeah. okay, right. So if you look through the level, you can see some toy cars which are actually uh, rather big. Okay, rather uh, you know rather big, rather vintage. Okay, this Pathfinder pedal car just a quick uh, run through. It's just a pedal car. You see inside the car, you start to pedal, the car will move. Okay, if you're a rich kid, only then you could afford this kind of car back in 1950s. Okay, and normally this, yeah, 1950s, and this was made by the Austin Motor Company, so it's a very, uh, it's actually a real company that made cars. Is and this then the original this one? Ah, this is the original one. Okay, so it was modeled after an original race car too. Right? Okay, as we move down, okay, we can see a few other cars over there, uh, including the McLaren uh, M23 Tercecco Grand Prix car. Okay, oh. this car was actually a real life F1 car. Right, that uh, won McLaren team some championships. I think sixteen Grand Prix victories, Ooh. and then three driver championships. Okay, I think this was made. Uh, this was used by the McLaren team during the nineteen sixties or seventies. Seventies. Yes, correct. Okay, what's so special about this car apart from being like the exact car in, the, in real life? Okay, actually this car is a battery operated car. Once you start the car, okay, actually there is also while we move forward, there's also smoke coming up from the back. Oh. Okay, <laughs> cool. yeah, so it looks like you know more effects the car, right? Okay, over here we got the another British racing car, the Van Wall Grand Prix racing car. Okay, it was you know it, uh, it actually was driven during the Formula One. Okay, right, and then uh, I think they're really proud of uh, the British are really proud of this kind of. Okay, right, this one like, you're pointing out this car. This is actually a Singapore locally made uh, kind of racing car. It's modeled after the actually the vehicle that broke the land speed record in Australia, right, during the 1970s or 60s. Orang tu niat banget ya koleksi gini gini. Yeah. Kita mungkin waktu kecil dibeliin kayak gini. Pemainin habis itu rusak, bye. Makanya gak jadi museum. Bener, ini kesimpen ya. Simpen jadi museum. Okay. Wow. One more, so yeah. this is all personal collection? Yes, yeah, a personal the collection owner. of Mr. Chang. Okay, he's a very senior. So he's been collecting toys for over like 50 years. So oh, it's not just not just cars. Not just cars. You collect a multitude of different uh, kind of toys. Okay, mm -hmm. as long as they are vintage, they hold like value, significance. Especially those locally made toys. I think yeah, he values those more. Ini yang cinta mainan pasti suka banget ke sini ya. Yeah. Koleksinya lengkap dan tadi ternyata aku kira mainan kekinian, ternyata kolek museum ya. Museum. Koleksi mainan dari tahun 60-an, 50-an. Iya. Yeah. Dan memang kayaknya yang koleksi tadi kan oh, ini personal item yang dikoleksi sama orang yang memang suka koleksi mainan. Iya. Yeah. Dan bisa jadi sampai museum loh. Oke, okay, kalau punya mainan jangan dirusakin, disimpan biar bisa jadi kayak museum, ya kan Kak Cuk? Benar. <laughs> Apa aja kalau punya tuh jangan dirusakin, disimpan jadi museum untuk hari. Tapi mainan kalau nggak dimainin gimana ya? Dimaininnya pelan-pelan, <laughs> dilap terus ditaruh. Oh dilap ya, dilap terus disimpan. <laughs> Yaudah, ini kayaknya GPSS masih ada banyak hal lagi, mana ya? Kita explore yang lain lagi ya, yuk. Hi. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi. Wow, this is Hi. one cool pop-up you have. <coughs> That's so, a cool car. <coughs> okay, this is a collaborative effort um, from <coughs> Kaki, uh -huh. Culture Cartel and Limited Edition. Uh -huh. So we are working with Mercedes-Benz Okay. Um, with this artist, Elvin. So Elvin Tan is from uh, the collective Funk. So he designed this car and backed it up in um, decal from inspiration uh, from the angel canopies of Kaki. Uh -huh. So he transforms it into a psychedelic um, rolling canvas for the car. Um, yeah. How about that one? Okay, we'll go to here. So this one is uh, from another artist that we work with. Uh -huh. It's uh, Race. So he transforms Elvin's visual uh -huh. into, a into a projection. He makes it comes to life. So this is, this is stickered for guests to take photo in the daytime. In the daytime here is white color. 
It's just a white car. So in the night time, we do the projection mapping and this car comes alive. Yeah. So if you see carefully, actually, it's the same canvas, but this one is a moving one. Yeah. This is a static one. Yeah. So tell us more about these collaborations with... So uh, this collaboration came about when um, Clark Key approached us to do something for the Grand Prix Singapore season. We plan to set up a not so conventional F1 merch pop-up store. Then we brought in the artists to collaborate with the cars. We brought in the car brands. And also we had another installation on the bridge from a light, light display artist. Yeah. Yeah. So it's to celebrate the Grand Prix Singapore season for this whole week. Yeah. Then of course, other than F1 merch, over here we have um, streetwear brands because Culture Cartel is all about um, streetwear and, and design. So these are the streetwear brands that are not related to F1. Oh, but, okay. but guests can also come here to, to have a look. Yeah. How would you describe the streetwear and the street culture here in Singapore? The street culture here is very vibrant. It's very vibrant because we it's driven by, um, we have a lot of youth, driven by a lot of youth. Then uh, we have a lot of streetwear local brands here that helps to and for Culture Cartel we always try to um, help the young local designers. Oh. So if there's opportunity like for them to collaborate with an international brand, so we always bring them together and um, help to produce something. Yeah. Okay. And the government is also very supportive. So Culture Cartel is um, we have been supported by SDB for a number of years. Then. Um, they, in what ways? Uh, funding. Oh, yeah, wow. funding. Wow. Yeah. So they have been they have been very supportive. Um, because that time there was a there was COVID, we stopped for two years, but we managed to do it online that time. Mm. Yeah. Then we had our last one two years ago. Then the next the next culture cartel will be two o two five at Singapore Expo, from seventeen to nineteen January. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. And there's another installation up front. Correct, there's another installation on the bridge that we'll, we'll show you. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, oh, is it starting? Yes. We, wow. we um, Culture Cartel work with Flex. It's a visual light artist to create this um, light structure. Later, we have a show, um, a one minute light show, every 15 minutes. So you can see um, how this whole thing come about. Yeah. yeah. Jadi kita mau jalan-jalan naik sidecars with Simon. Simon, so where are you taking us? Okay, you're going to be on a really, really interesting trip around town. You'll be on the fringes of the Formula One circuit, which is where you're starting. And as you heard just now, it gets so loud you can't hear your own voice. <laughs> um, and then we'll be up onto one of the flyovers where you will pass one of the big party zones on the left. You're going to run over certain sections of the Formula One circuit. So if you look over the sides of your sidecar, you will see race cars zooming by. At that moment, you're also going to see the entire Singapore skyline on your right. You'll see Gardens by the Bay on your left. Huge MBS right here. 
yeah, that's that's going to be a really good view. Can't wait, can't wait. Can you tell us a bit more about um, this whole operation before we... Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. I'll try and give you that in a nutshell. So we're a social enterprise. Okay. And that means... So you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that means you're, you're here at the right time of year. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. We started off with about five guys just over five years ago. Now we have over 50 guys. Um, anytime a charity comes asking for support, we always give the support. And that's for personal reasons. My, my late wife had stomach cancer and she passed away quite young. Ever since then, we supported uh, cancer research and children, Children's Cancer Foundation. And up till now, now that the fleet has grown, we try to support charity in, uh, in, in bigger ways. Um, so recently we've had elderly folks homes ask for sidecar rides, take all the sidecars and everyone will volunteer. Um, during years ago, uh, during the lockdowns, during COVID, we helped to bring uh, food from luxury hotels, five-star food to medical frontliners. Um, so any any charity that comes knocking will do it. So that's that's really what we do. But along the way, uh, people love the tours. So it's become um, um, a, quite a profitable entity at the same time. It's created jobs for over 50 people. So, so, so sorry to hear about your, your lead wife. Yeah. So who's been on these sidecars? That's a really good question because where do you start? <laughs> We've had this particular one, the Harry Potter twins, when they filmed their travel show. Yes, they were on that yes. one. Yes, that one and that one. Okay. Yeah, that one has had Winston Duke. So he's the bad guy on the Black Panther. So Hollywood has been on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we've had Damon Hill, um, Formula One champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. so he was driving a different one. Um, Drew Barrymore, about a month ago. Really? Yeah, just a, a personal trip, just brought her kids. So we're so lucky because we started off as a, the tiniest tour company out of nowhere. And Tourism Board have been very, very um, supportive. And, and initially they would try to direct celebs like you guys and good media this way. Yeah. Drew Barrymore level <laughs> And then uh, it got to the point where, you know, Drew Barrymore would phone up. And we're, we're so lucky because of that. And we're currently number nine on TripAdvisor in Singapore. We were number three, but we're still in the top 10. So we're very happy with that. Wow. Okay, we're excited. We are yeah. excited. All right. Let's brilliant. go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! No seat belts required. <laughs> I have never seen. Singapore through this lens. It's the best way to see it, I think, man. This is crazy. You're always in a cab or something. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So fans go a bit crazy now because they know that the race cars are just on, just on the other side of the fence. As we hit the top of the bridge, you'll start seeing down onto the track. Like literally next to us. They're just there. Yeah. <laughs> right there. There it is! There it is! Look at that! Woo -hoo -hoo. There they are! Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy! We got the flyer! Got the skyline on the right, so the sun sets on that side. Wow. Gardens by the bay, F1, MBS, wow. it's the whole of Singapore. This is it! So beautiful! Akhirnya F1 race hari Sunday sudah mau mulai. Wuhu! Kak Jo udah siap banget dong. Dia udah siap banget atas bawah, samping semuanya tahu nggak sih? Buka ini harus dibuka dulu. Tuh. Ini Singapore Grand Prix. Tahu nggak sih dia tuh sampai jaketnya aja tuh udah udah bukan cuma yang dipakai, dia bawa juga <laughs> tuh. dibuka. Dia sampai dia bawa segala macam, sampai topi aja dia bawa Tuh, dua jaket, uh, jaketnya di bawah. Enggak di bawah, enggak di bawah. Lengkap banget tau gak sih, dia tuh udah siap lahir batin, segala macem. Aku gak bawa semuanya. banyak jaket karena aku yakin yang menang yang ini. Oh gitu. McLaren yang menang hari ini di Singapura. Banana, ada prediksi mungkin? Aku kan udah bilang dari awal, aku tuh gak paham. Aku datang ke sini tuh belajar sama Kajo. Makanya aku oh. juga sekarang tuh ya, aku ngeliat aja sih. 
aku menjadi pembelajar yang baik, aku akan memantau. Oke. Okay. Jadi tolong aku diajarin sama aku akan menyimak. Oke, okay, ya udah McLaren berarti. Aku ajarin McLaren. <laughs> Oke okay, guys, this is so exciting. Kita bakal masuk nih jalannya sedikit jauh ya. Bentar lagi nih sekitar 10 menit lagi race yang mulai. Oke, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Norris masih aman? Broku masih aman. Dari mobilnya siapa kajo? Carlos Sainz kayaknya. 